I feel like it's sort of become a thing where I sing at the beginning of my videos and I've got this kind of dry sore throat thing going on but if I was to sing a song today it would be a million dreams are keeping me away my cats always run to me when I sing I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult <laughs> hi baby do you want to say hello say hello to the camera I've got my little white cats on my jumper, but I've got my little black cat in real life. Hmm? She just hates me having attention on the camera, on a, and she also likes to lick my eyelashes when I've got makeup on. Hey guys, so today I am making my favourite video to make because it means I've been to a Disney park, and that's exactly what has happened. I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise, but my cats I'm actually letting in the room with me whilst I film for once um, just because they're both being a bit like needy today so I'd feel bad shutting them out when Ben's not home and they're being a bit clingy and needy so yeah they might be rustling in some bags or just being their normal mischievous selves Cleo don't eat that she literally does what she wants she completely ignores me don't eat it so yes, it's a Disney haul. I'm very, very excited. This was going to have to be a two-parter, but I, without thinking, gave everyone who we bought gifts for, I gave them their gifts. So <laughs> half the stuff I don't have anymore. And I was like, I could go back round. She's too distracted. I'm going to have to shut her out. I feel terrible now, but she's literally destroying the room because she wants my attention. <sighs> Where was I? Um, yes, I was going to go back round and like collect up everyone's gifts that I'd given and be like, give me them back so I can film them. But like everyone lives in different places because we obviously got Ben's mum presents, we got my my brother and his girlfriend presents, we got my other brother presents, we got my parents presents, we got my nan presents. So like, and Ben got Ben got his friend's baby present. At, so it's just like a lot. So yeah, it's a lot. The first thing is a clothing item. This uh, was my boyfriend's. He bought this hat. It's a Star Wars hat, um, which is a bobble hat, and he wore it whilst we were there actually, because I feel like it looks Christmassy. I don't know why, but we went at Christmas time. Um, but I feel like, yeah, it looks Christmassy. Um, but yes, he loves Star Wars, and we just love this hat. He kept seeing it around on like in the shops and on other people. And he kept going, I don't know, I don't know, and I was like, just get it, because you just, you keep seeing it, every time you see it, you say you like it, so just get it. Um, yeah, it's very, very, like, even with my hand in there, it's very warm, and thick, and cosy. I was so excited when I saw this iron, <laughs> I couldn't contain myself, and we haven't used it. And now that I've filmed this video, I'm going to go downstairs and put it to use. Um, it's a cat bowl for our kitties, and it's got all the Disney cats on. Well, it doesn't have Figaro on, which I was very upset about, um, because obviously he is a Disney cat, and yeah, he's not on it. It's got Marie, the Cheshire cat. I don't know who this little little black cat from. I think he's from Bolt or something. I'm really not sure. Then it's got Berlioz and Toulouse and the Siamese cats. But I just was like, yes, my cats don't actually currently have anything Disney, so now they do. <laughs> Clothing item for me, if you're a long time subscriber of mine and you've watched all my Disney hauls, you'll know that I like to get a jumper of some sorts to like remember the trip, like it's my little souvenir item. This time I got a hoodie, Every, I think every other time. No, from Florida I got both, I got a hoodie and a round neck sweatshirt. I prefer round neck sweatshirts but recently I've been wanting a pullover hoodie. I feel like they're just really warm when it's cold out. It's been really cold. Anyway, I got this one, um, which is not very me, she says whilst wearing a grey hoodie. <laughs> um, but this is like, um, oh, what's the word? Flocked? Is that what it's called? Like raised and textured. And it's the 25 Years of Disneyland Paris um one so it's limited edition I thought well we were there whilst it was on the 25th year so I thought that was nice because if I went back I wouldn't be able to get this one again I might be able to get one that just said Disneyland Paris on so yeah I thought that was a bit different and just cozy comfy I will say though it fits really weird like a lot of the Disney clothes just have no shape and I would rather that than this shape 
this is just cut really weird it fits really weird i don't know um so i don't i think this will just be something i wear at home in my pajamas and snuggle up in but that's fine i like that too everyone needs snuggly clothes oh yeah it's got on the arm here the um 25 years of Disneyland which I love you know it, again if you've watched a lot of my hauls that I'm an obsessive mug collector uh, but actually Ben got more mugs than me this time and we got you know what I'll save what I got for other people till the very end but um, Ben got this mug I think to take to work with him I spotted this one and was like I really love that because it's like sparkly gold at the bottom and the Star Wars is sparkly gold and then it has all the stormtroopers and then Darth Vader on the back there um this was 14.99 but that says euros um i'll read the prices if the items have got them on them but yes i thought it was really cute another mug um <laughs> again this is ben's um oh the reason he got this was because um my brother and his girlfriend went to disneyland paris just before us they went for halloween because they're both halloween fans um and they bought ben back a mug that was goofy i think it was the haunted mansion tower of terror ones they're like the spooky ones they, i found them both in those shops anyway um but there was this like matte black and ben really really loved it he was like that's so just so cool i've never seen a disney mug like that and then when we went we saw this one and so he got it for himself because he loved that one so much and i just think it's really cute it looks really classic like but this is feels like it's made out of like sugar i'm not even joking um it's got mickey on it and then on the back it says disneyland paris this was 10.99 euros and it's bright yellow on the inside um and ben likes black and yellow together so yes i think again this might be going to work with him some smaller items that i will give you guys close-ups of are um some pins so i like to get although i'm not a pin trader i like to get pins for like the hotel and the park um just because they're really really pretty and I saw ages ago uh, on Pinterest this way to display your pins on a pin board and I had a pin board that I wasn't using and I was like oh my god they look so nice and colourful and that's a really nice way to like have Disney but from afar you wouldn't know because they're all so little. Anyway uh, this one was in the blue category I don't know how much that was um, I think it was quite expensive compared to the other hotel ones but it's for the Disneyland hotel which is where we stayed and it's pink and gold and it has a key hanging off of it and I just thought it was so pretty um, it's got Tinkerbell on it I love that I'll give you a close-up of that got a Disneyland park one um, because we actually made the decision to start getting pins when we were at uh, Florida in 2016 so when we went to Florida in 2012 and Paris in 2015, <laughs> trying to remember the dates, um, we didn't get any pins. So I don't have any Disneyland ones. So I got the Disneyland Castle and it says Disneyland Park. And yeah, I love the Disneyland Paris Castle because it's pink. So <laughs> this was green. Again, I don't know what that, how much that was. Um, this was 6 dollars euros um and again this is ben's there's a lot of ben's in this bag um oh it's a bit marked it's grumpy on a key ring i'll give you a close up because you need to see the detail in his little angry face that's <laughs> really sweet um but we got a lot of these style i fell in love with these i could have got every character in this type of key ring like i'm i think they're the cutest little things and they're really like bobble heady and i love the like material that they are they're like i can't explain it <laughs> really really love them so i've got a lot of these that you'll see coming up i always have to get a plushie when i go as well normally it's of a character that i meet this time the only character that i got to meet was marie um which was because of like terrible interactions with cast members um to do with my priority pass go and watch my disney vlogs if you want to know more about that but yes, um, the only character I was allowed to meet was Marie. And unfortunately, I didn't like any of the Marie plushies. I really wanted to get one because I don't actually have one. I wanted the big full-size classic Marie with the pink bow. Um, and yeah, I just didn't find one that I fell in love with. All the faces were weird on the ones that I could find or they were the wrong size. So yes. Um, but before we went to Florida the last time, me and Ben watched all the Disney classics again. And I fell in love with Lady and the Tramp. 
I'm, I'm, we're big animal lovers. We always have wanted dogs. I don't know how we ended up with two cats. <laughs> <clears throat> they found us, I suppose. But um, I said, like, oh my God, I didn't remember how cute baby lady was like when he, when she first gets him as a present and she's got the big pink bow on her back I was like oh so cute little puppy lady and then I found this plushie and um it's funny because I don't I'm not in love with her face I think she does look a bit crazed um and I don't remember lady ever really pulling that face but anyway um that's just me being pernickety I wanted this style of plushie because we got this style of plushie in Pluto for Ben's friend's baby um, and it just was the softest cuddliest thing and I was like I have to have one of those and I only could find Mickey, Pluto and then randomly I found this and I was like yes I'm getting her I love her. You have seen this if you watched my what I got for Christmas um, but maybe you don't watch that maybe you literally just watch me for Disney videos and that's fine too so I'm going to include them anyway. I got this gorgeous cute weird from Tokyo Disney but in Disneyland Paris <laughs> Sully phone holder which I adore I want to go to Tokyo Disney purely for the merch because <laughs> it's just the sweetest like cutesy colourful stuff um yeah and Sully's one of my favourite characters so I also got this <laughs> This huge Sully and Mike with Christmas hats on. I'm really torn about whether or not to put this away, like in the loft of all the Christmas stuff, or leave it, leave him out, like all the time. Like, do you know what I mean? Because he's so like big and lovely, and was expensive, and was a gift, and it's only just been Christmas, so I've only get, I've only got to appreciate him for like a month. I really want him out for longer. I don't know, I can't decide. Or do I put him away and then get excited next year when I open him up because I always forget what I've got for Christmas decorations. I don't know, what do you think? More plushies. Um, and I genuinely wanted even more than this in, in terms of plushies. There were so many that I fell in love with. Um, so I kind of lied when I said there was no Marie. Honestly, I would have got this, like I didn't get this for Marie. I got this for the others because you, you hardly ever see merch especially in Florida I never did of these two but basically they came as a set <laughs> the Aristocat kittens oh my god look at them again they've got like kind of crazy faces but I, I was just so in love with them I, I had to have them they were $32.99 Marie has got her little pink bow and she has got a fluffier tail than the other two um I, I was obsessed with Aristocats as a child, I like would watch it or repeat and also we always said that these this was me and my two brothers so that's what it reminds me of and you just don't ever see like the boys um, so uh, yeah I, uh, as soon as I saw this I literally grabbed it and was like that's coming to the till with me this was a gift um, and I feel really bad because I withheld this we've withheld a couple of gifts because of planning to film the second haul and then just now that I'm not I feel bad I should have given it to them but anyway um we got my nan this Tinkerbell pen she always needs more pens she's quite hard to buy for my nan she really wanted a thimble um because she, every time any of us like grandkids have ever gone anywhere or and my dad to be fair which is her child um we get her thimbles from where we've been and we managed to find one in Florida but we literally could not find one in Disneyland Paris um and I didn't think it mattered that much because my brother got her one that was like Halloween-y, I think, when he went. Um, but I, li I looked everywhere and I couldn't find one. So I got her this Tinkerbell pen. And we also got her these, which are not Disney. They're just like Kit Kat balls, but they sell them in Disney. And the reason we got these was because when my brother went, he had them and he, he bought back loads of packets for him and his girlfriend and some for Nan to try. And they're both obsessed. So both of them were like, you have to get us more of those Kit Kat things. So I literally bought the whole shelf for my Nan and my brother. I literally just picked them all up and was like, you could distribute them. So yes, these are for my Nan. Um, <laughs> these were 4.59 euros. Um, I don't get the hype. We bought a bag to try because we were like, they're that crazy that they're sending us to specifically buy them in Paris. They've got to be good. And me and my boyfriend were like, I mean, they're all right. Like, I'd just take a standard Kit Kat, to be honest, and dip it in a cup of tea. But there you go. A couple of 
couple more pins. Um, I got this gorgeous Marie pin. I actually don't have any Marie pins, I don't think. Um, now I'm trying to wrap my brain before I make that statement. This was one of the few things that was Marie merch where I really loved, I just loved it. Like I love her face, I love the way she's been done. I love how big she was. Um, and this is green, again, I don't know how much that costs, sorry. Um, but yes, yeah, so I just thought she was very sweet and shiny and lovely. I'll give you a close up. Get Figaro. This is the Figaro Sum Sum. I collect Disney Sum Sums or Sum Sums. I never know how to say it. Um, and I just want all the Figaro merch since I have my very own Figaro. Um, and look, look at his little face. This again was green. I, um, I, I, I actually want to wear that, but then I'd be scared it would fall off and I'd lose it. So cute though. <music> funky key rings that we had in the grumpy one um i think this was the first one i saw and it's dumbo and uh, oh, <laughs> it makes my heart melt it just makes my heart melt he looks like baby dumbo look how big his ears are he's got his little hat on oh and i actually really wanted a dumbo plushie that was the plushie i went like wanting from i wanted marie Obviously whoever I met, but I wanted, I had in my mind Marie, Lady or Dumbo. And I, again, I didn't find one single Dumbo plushie. They were all the Dumbo that has the like clown makeup on, which I find really terrifying. <laughs> I wanted just the classic one that looks like this um, and I couldn't find it. So I got the key ring instead. Because I'm obviously obsessed with Marie, I got the Marie one. I just love this style. I love how chunky they are. Oh, she's got glitter all over her face. Where's that come from? Um, yes, look at the big bow on her back and on her hair. Oh, adorable. Adorable. And you'll know that one of my fave Disney movies is Moana. And when I saw this, I died. <laughs> she looks really like a badass. She's putting a really like satty face. I'll give you guys close-ups of all of these but yes I had to have this. She's just like my favourite bad sassy. I'm not gonna say that word but you know what I said. <laughs> yes I love her look. I love how big her hair is. Gorgeous. This gorgeous Winnie the Pooh sum sum face. Winnie the Pooh is also up there with my favourite characters. It sounds like I've got a million favourite characters. I haven't, but you know, there's a lot to choose from in Disney. Um, I don't think this has got the price on, has it? Oh, it has, 5 dollars I actually thought this would be really cute clipped onto a bag because it's got that big clipper. Wouldn't necessarily have to go on keys, could go on a handbag. So I really love that about it and it's, just, it's so soft. And I got another one of these exactly the same as a gift for my little brother. This was a gift for my boyfriend's mum, um, and again, this is what we've withheld. I need, we need to give it to these people, but I feel really bad. Um, every time we've been, we've got her a fridge magnet from the dis different Disney parks. So yeah, we got her a Paris one that has Minnie and Mickey on. That was four ninety nine. And last but definitely not least um, was my gorgeous Figaro. Uh, Christmas Figaro, again, I really don't know if I want to put him away, like, but then if he's out all, all year, would he just look like he's Scottish or something with the tartan, I really don't know. <laughs> but anything Figaro I have to have, there was a bigger Figaro plush, and I loved it, but again, it just was odd, like, I don't know, it just didn't look very well done, whereas I thought this was so cute, <laughs> I love it so much. I've just said that that's the last thing and it's actually not. I've just remembered that I've got a whole other bag of stuff in the other room. Be right back. <laughs> I'm back. Some of this is fragile. So I obviously had to get Christmas ball balls because it was Christmas time and I love Disney Christmas ball balls. And I'm obsessed with Figaro merch, like I've said a million times. And this has Minnie and Figaro and he looks so sweet. I'll make sure you guys can see because I know it's like really detailed and tiny. But it says, Joyo Noel, is that how am I saying that right? Joyo, Joyo Noel is in French. Um, and then it says Disneyland Paris. I really like these ones where it's like you can see inside the bauble. 
Um, but again, I mainly got it for Figaro, I can't even lie. on the back of the train that goes around the Christmas tree in Disneyland Hotel and as soon as I saw it I was like if that's for sale I'm having it <laughs> it's this amazing pink Christmas bauble look at that it's got the whole castle on the inside and Tinkerbell on the top with a little star um, but I love that it was pink obviously because the castle's pink but like the pink glitter at the bottom the pink ribbon um, and this blue but it was a really nice touch and the shape I really loved and how big it is and I do have a pink what I call kitschy tree and this is perfect for that so yeah I love this this Christmas another thing that I just had to have as soon as I saw it I was in love with it um, it is Donald and Daisy riding on the Dumbo ride. So Dumbo's like flying through the air. Oh, and it's pink, again, pink. All the like little bits. His hat is pink, the, the seat is pink, the ribbon's pink. And Donald and Daisy look like they're having the best time of their lives. <laughs> again because it was pink for my kitschy tree um, but also because this gave me very much um, Mary Poppins on the carousel ride it's Minnie and she's got her little princess outfit on and she's riding a carousel horse and again it's that lovely shape it's got pink glitter on top and I love that it was open um, yeah how much was this I don't have the price on it sorry <laughs> A, another hat this one does not have a pom-pom on it's this lovely maroony ready color that looks very lovely on him and it has this tan little badge that has Mickey Mouse's face on it, it looks like a old-school Mickey Mouse this was 19.99 um, no pom-pom on it but very cozy and warm and lovely we also collect um, Disney magnets and well magnets in general wherever we go somewhere special or for a day that's going to be memorable or for a special event we try and get a magnet to put on our fridge and it actually is lovely because you go in your fridge every day well i do and seeing all of this all of the magnets just reminds me of all the wonderful places we've been and it really makes me smile this was 4.99 and we both loved this it was the first one we saw but we just loved it and we were like there's not going to be another one that we want more and also that this is not like all of our other disney magnets because we do actually have some from disneyland paris the last time we went um yeah it's got mickey mouse on it it's got the uh, tower of terror which is our favorite ride it's got the um studios like entrance on it and the Disney castle it's got Thunder Mountain a, the treehouse and then um, hyperspace mountain and it says Disneyland Paris I really like that and it's all like raised and just very colorful and happy this item one of the fave things I got from this trip um, and I didn't include this because of unraveling it in my what I got for Christmas video but this was another item that my brother got me for Christmas and um, if you haven't watched that video I explain in it that my brother basically said I know there's nothing you're gonna want more for Christmas than stuff from Disneyland and accurate that is um so he gave me money to go with and get myself whatever I wanted um this is really weighty <laughs> it's a Marie mug but it's the Marie I think this is the Sum Sum mug um yeah it says mug Sum Sum Marie this is 14.99 I just thought it was the sweetest look at her little face and then it's got that on the back which is I think meant to be like their tail on the bottom of the Sum Sum um, pink handle I thought it was a really lovely size though as well um, and an easy handle for me to hold lupus problems <laughs> this is um, but I sometimes struggle because if my joints are really bad or my hands are really swollen or both or I'm in a lot of pain if the handles small I literally can't lift it like I, I just can't without spilling it all over myself so this is a lovely big sturdy handle um, 
and just the sweetest mug you've ever seen. And the last two items you would have seen if you were watching my Disney vlogs, but you also would have seen this in my faves. I'm still obsessed with it. Is it still okay to be wearing this in January? I don't really care. Um, it's my gingerbread Minnie Mouse Disney hat. I love everything about this. I don't know what else to say. I just <laughs> am obsessed with it. And then I also got this one, which is so funny because I wanted a different Minnie Mouse hat that was just standard black red spots um, to go with my outfit that I would planned for the studios day, day two, which in my current vlogs are up. Um, but I couldn't find the one I wanted um, and then I found this one and on the day my head was actually freezing and I had gone out without a hat because I wanted to buy this one and so I was like I'm going to have to buy one but I wanted to, I didn't want to waste my money on one I didn't like and I didn't have that one on me so I was like right I'm going to find one that I like and I went on a mission I found this one but I, I literally put it on and said to my boyfriend does it look okay and he was like yeah and I was like okay bought it I didn't realise how big it is like as in how big the ears are when they're on your head i don't know if, i do have quite a small head as well um but yeah it's like this and then it's got pom-poms i just how sweet i really loved it it was really comfortable on but the ears are so they're like plushier than my plushies they're so good um i yeah i wore this a lot actually and i've worn it ever since as well i don't even care i'll wear a mini mouse hat when i'm not at disney Right, I think that is now it, but I'm just going to run through what I got as gifts for other people. I got a Jack Skeleton from Night Before Christmas as a like big candle holder face. I'm going to try and find pictures to include here. If I can't, I'm sorry, but if I can, I'll insert them after each thing. I got him also a Jack Skeleton mug and a Wally mug, because he really wanted mugs. Um, we got my brother's girlfriend Sally mug, which I regret not getting because it was so, the way it was done was really cool. We got my brother a Buzz Lightyear mug, which I only saw in one shop on the last day and I was so glad I found it, it was perfect. We got my dad, I'm trying to remember who we got what, I can remember things we got. We got a Buzz Lightyear key ring, it was like a fully movable little Buzz Lightyear and an alien um, key ring from Toy Story that was like the style of all those cutesy ones which I think were both for my dad we got my mum the little black and white plushie of Mickey because we got her the mini one when we went last time so now she's got both and we got my brother the We The Pooh key ring I think that's it I think that's it I think that's everything <laughs> it was actually quite long wasn't it quite a big haul um, <laughs> you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up it really helps me and it helps me to know if you guys are enjoying these videos what videos you enjoy the most on my channel and stuff like that um, also please subscribe I'm really trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of February which I know is a big reach um, because of the way that YouTube growth happens very slowly um, for most people um, I'm really trying to hit that so please subscribe I upload three videos every single week so I am working really hard to produce really good content three times a week um, because I love doing it I really really love doing it um, and since I've been unwell I wouldn't I would <laughs> I don't know what I would do with myself if I didn't do these videos like they really keep me going keep me inspired keep my creative streak flowing um, and just keep me happy I really it's just something I really really love and really enjoy doing it so I hope you guys are enjoying it as well I hope you're having the most fabulous day and that's it I will see you again soon bye